Hi, I'm Wanda from Elaine the Craft and today we're going to be making a quick and easy quilt and uh, we haven't done a prototype of this so hmm, let's hope it works out. Um, I'm sure it will. So what we've got here is some fabric that we received in our Timu haul, our recent Timu haul. I'm not doing a haul video but uh, we are taking fabric from the haul and we'll be making the quilt using this fabric and you can see it's got some really nice colours in here and we'll show you what we're going to do right now. Okay, so the pieces measured 19 and 3 quarters by 19 and 3 quarters. Uh, some of them were a little bit smaller. So what we did is we cut them down to 19 inches and that's still a nice big square. And then we went through and we matched them up. So as you can see here, we've got the purple and the green. They always go really nice together. And then I've got a brown with the pink, always nice. And then the green and the blue, well, not so much maybe, but who knows. So just do that, but try and have a light and a dark don't have two darks together or two lights together. Okay, so let's get started on what we're going to do here. So I've taken two of the squares and I'm going to place them right sides together. Now you'll do this with each pair. Just place them right sides together, line them up nicely. And because they're so big, I'll, I will put some pins in to hold them together. But what we're going to do is we're going to sew down each side with a quarter inch seam. So down here and we'll sew down here. And that's our first step and we'll do that with every pair of um, squares that we have. All right so we're going to sew down here with a quarter inch seam and you can see my trusty magnet here. I got this in the last Timu haul and if you have trouble with quarter inch seams or any other size seams I suggest you get one of these because it's wonderful. Okay, so I have sewn down both sides now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have one of the sides that I've sewn down and I'm just going to place it onto my mat and line it up and I'm going to cut this in half at nine and a half inches because my square is 19 so I want to make sure that it's halfway so nine and a half and I'm just going to slice down there just like that pull that aside and you see now that I have two pieces just like that okay so I'm going to give those a press and I'll press the seam to the dark side and now what I'm going to do is repeat that process with the rest of the squares so I have all my pieces they're sewn together they've all been cut and they've all been pressed and uh, you can see that they've all been pressed to the dark side. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to set these aside and I'll take this top square here and just lay it on the, on the mat. Now I can take the next square which is exactly the same color and just place it so that the pieces contrast. Okay so I've now got the blue over the yellow and then what would happen is when I sew these together I'd end up with this look and that's really nice and I could do that with all of the squares but I'm not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to take a random piece of uh, fabric and I'm going to just have the darker pieces like that. Alright so I'm just going to lay those together and what I'm going to end up now is a piece that will look like this. So all of my squares are going to be random all the way through. So I'll um, just lay that flat. What we need to do is just match up the edges of course and then uh, because of how our seams have been done they'll nest together nicely. And we'll sew down each side with a quarter inch seam. Now make sure you have your seam running this way before we sew these seams on the edge. Okay so as you can see I've sewn all of these together now and I've done the seams on the side. So I'll just put these aside and I'll take my first one and again we're going to cut these in half. So I just lay it down on my mat, get my ruler and I come in at nine and a half and nine and a half. And now what I have are two squares that look like this. 
So I'm going to just do the same thing now. I'm just going to cut all of the rest of the squares so that I end up with this four patch block with each of them. Okay, so we've got it laid out how we want it to look, but we're not going to piece it together now. Normally we would go ahead and we'd, you know, join the, the blocks together and then join the rows. We're not going to do that yet because I want to organize my borders first. So we'll go and do that and then we'll come back and we'll show you what we're going to do. So we use 12 squares to make our quilt and we're not going to work with the quilt at the moment. We're now going to work with our borders. Now we had a 20 pack and so we've used 12, so we have eight left over. Now of that eight, I'm going to use five for my borders. So what I'm going to do with them is I'll take the, the square and cut them in half. And you can see I've done it with this one here. I've cut it in half and then I've cut it in half again. And I end up with four, four and three quarter strips. And that's what I'm going to use for my borders. So we need 14 strips for our border and we need one strip for our corner stones. So that's 15 strips all together. So you will have one strip left over. So I now have four piles and I have four in each of these piles and I have three in this one. So that's four, eight, 12, 15. And it's just as well I don't need an extra one because I had a little bit of a problem. And as you can see, we had an oopsie and I cut through the material. I'm going to go with red for my corner stones. So again, I've cut the strip in half and then I've cut it into pieces of four and three quarter inches. So I've laid out all my border pieces, how I'm going to have them look. And now it's just a matter of attaching them to the blocks. So here we are at the bottom of the quilt. And what I'm going to do is I'll take the corner stone and I'll lay it over the first border piece and I'll sew that along there with a quarter inch seam. Now these pieces are now, because we've cut the, the squares and done some seams, they're now shorter than the 19 inch pieces that we started with. So what you can do is you can measure your blocks and then cut your, your border piece to match and sew it on. Or you can do what I'm going to do and I'm simply going to lay it, the border piece on top of the squares and I'm going to line it up down one end and along the bottom here and then I will sew it on with a quarter inch seam and then I'm just going to trim that piece off. And I'll do that with each of the pieces along the bottom here to start. So if you're going to do this the way I've done it, what you'll need to do, of course, is trim these border pieces down. So take your ruler, line up one of the lines along the seam line, and make sure you've got the edge of the ruler along the edge of the block. Make sure that's perfectly along that seam line. And just have a check up here and make sure, yes, that's running along there as well. So that's in perfect position. And so what I'm going to do now is simply trim that piece off. And there we are. As you can see, we've got the border pieces done now. They're sewn onto these bottom blocks. And I also have the cornerstones done to the first border piece. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to lay this border piece and I'm going to match my cornerstone onto the border here and I'm going to lay this piece along. Now you remember we've just trimmed off the border pieces before. You remember they were too long. And we're going to have the same issue here on this side. So once we've sewn it on, we'll trim it back the same as we did with these other ones. Now once I've sewn that piece on, I'll also do the same with the border piece at the other end. So we have our border pieces with our cornerstone done to our bottom squares. And so all we need to do now is we're going to take this one here and lay it over the middle one and we'll line it all up nice and neatly and get all our seams nice and neat and then we'll sew down here with a quarter inch seam and then we'll do the same with the other side we'll bring it over match it up and sew it with a quarter inch seam all right so you can see here that we have the bottom row with its borders all finished and so now we need to complete the rest of the quilt and I'll show you how to do that now so we're on to the next row up. So again, what I'm going to do is take the border piece, lay it over the squares, match it all up, and then we'll trim it. And I'll do exactly the same with the border piece at the other end. And then we'll sew the blocks together as we did with the first row. And I'll do exactly the same with the row above it. So this row here, we'll do it in the exact same manner as we're doing this one. Now we finished the middle two rows, so now we're going to finish the top row and we're going to do it exactly the same as we did on the bottom. We're going to add the cornerstone to the border piece, 
then we'll add the border to the squares and we'll do that all the way along the row and then we'll just uh, sew them all together okay so we've sewn all of the pieces into rows and now we're going to sew our rows together so we just take one row lay it over the next one now take your time here and match up your seams you want this, these to look nice and crisp and matched so just make sure that you nest them in and get them nice and neat and then we'll pin along there and when it's all matched up nicely we'll sew right along there with a quarter inch seam then we'll do the next row and the next row and then we're finished okay so there we have it we've finished our quilt top and I think it looks really nice I'm very happy with it the material was nice to work with and the dots look lovely I'd like to thank Timu for providing us with this material it came as part of our haul and as I said we aren't doing a haul video but we will be doing more tutorials and projects using other packs of material that came with it and so we'll be doing that in the near future so if you've enjoyed this video please give us a like and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching